Yeah, they will still come and praise them. This is what we are talking about. They will talk about palliative, oh, they want to do something. Instead of them to face the real issue, they will be chasing shadows. We say this thing is not going to be sustainable. But some people, because of that immediate gain, it's not even everybody that is gaining it. They will be shouting, they will be praising all these politicians. Now, the program that a legal state government, they call it a target uh, on Jericho, the food discounts. Yes, it's called um, food discount market. Third, they call a uh, own Jericho initiative has been suspended. They cannot continue. We can't continue. They can't continue again. It's not sustainable. Instead of you to teach people how to fish, you want to be giving them fish for how long? With the fish, or oh, the fish will last. Just uh, yesterday, we saw a video where they were distributing or giving people bread. Bread of how much? The Lagos state government has announced the indefinite suspension of its own Jericho food discount market initiative. Adekule Adedeji, the director general of ECO Bulletin, made the announcement in a statement addressed to campus directors and representatives dated 17th September 2024. Even this own Jericho that you are talking about, where and where did they? Did they uh, organize it? Where and where did they sell it? Temporary closure of Onjeko initiative. The statement noted that the closure will be temporary. The statement which uh, Sahar reporters obtained says, Dear Lagosians, it is with deep regret that we announced the temporary closure of the Onjeko initiative across the tertiary institutions in Lagos. It's, uh, so not only tertiary institutions, I they go, they do. So what about other places? So what have they been eating? So now that you are closing it, even in that particular place that you you held it, so what will that happen now? This decision was made after a brief meeting between the Honorable Commissioner Ministry of Food and Agriculture and all center coordinators and assistant coordinators in relation with improving sales of food items to students. So now students, kindly understand that this closure is temporary and we continue as soon as possible. It says, hmm. you should be recalled that Lagos state government had in August announced that the phase two of the food discount market on Jericho program will commence on Sunday, September 1st, 2024. The state commissioner for agriculture and food systems, Ms. Abisola Ulusoya, who addressed journalists then, had stated that the program aligns with Governor Babajide Sanwulu's commitment to supporting Lagosians through initiative, innovative and impactful initiatives. Ulu Sonya has stated the second phase of Onjeko will run for eight weeks across 64 locations including 57 local government area, Alausa, Secretariat, Lekki Phase 1 and all of those uh, places. We see 57. Beyond providing food items at discounted prices, Mr. Governor is engaging approximately 6,000 personnel and over 3,000 businesses to supply food items, transportation, logistics, and other necessities. This will ensure the smooth operation of the markets and further bolster our local economy, she added. So you believe them at your own period. Yeah, for how long will the government fulfill their people? It is simply unsustainable. No sustain, so sustainable. Provide security, address inflation, forest rate wahala, and people will take care of themselves with ease. It is not the business of government to feed people or sell food stuff. Audio food from the beginning. Just uh, need someone to educate our mother, mothers and fathers before the next election because not them. Agberos, they go queue for polling units to vote all these big fools. These politicians eh, don't even mean well for the poor masses. Government doesn't even support what will not benefit them. We must learn our lesson. There's no election now. Niger thinks now so it be. Over 50 good years, US government haven't suspended its discount market, but our own just yesterday, today is suspension. Man, hmm. when will our beloved country go above this type of wickedness against the poor masses? Clap for the iron face, man. <laughs> Funny people. It's not a sustainable initiative from the beginning. Deception is like a house without foundation. It can never stand the test of time. It can never, 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 never. Rigmarolin. Moving around circles. 
From the comments so far, it shows that the hunger has united us, but uh, during election, they will use the tribalism to scatter us, and the people will fall for that. It's unfortunate that the so-called leaders cannot even be trusted to do what is right. I don't even blame them. I blame the masses who are still ignorant of the ways of the political class. I paint a uh, one paint of beans here. Uh, it's 11,460, right, 6,000 naira. Those that are benefiting from it will feel it. Very unfortunate set of people. Big, big shame indeed. It seems like uh, the people have been overfed. They know, they now misbehave. Confused government. Well, it is none of my business. Now only people, will, like somebody said, people, people will say that they enjoy them. Now they go feel them. Yes, yeah, so, echo, don't believe food be that too. You mean the visible discount food market? Why are politicians always far away from the truth? So guys, I'll let's say your opinion and have your take on this.